Have you noticed more people irritable, angry, assertive, more so than maybe in the past mm, number of years? Hey, David Essel here. You're tuned in to David Essel Live, America's positive podcast, helping Americans and the world to heal right here on buzzsprout.com. So super happy to have you on board with us. This is just great. And we are going to talk about a topic that's crucially important. In my private practice of 43 years, I've honestly never seen the amount of people, uh, couples that are coming in just at each other's throats, individuals just very negative about the news, about the world, about their neighbors, about their work. I mean, it's incredible how many people are contacting me basically for mental tune-ups. They're saying, David, this is the craziest. I mean, people are telling me I'm out of control. I'm road raging. I'm screaming. I'm doing things that it are not normally who I am and what I'm all about. And I don't know what to do. We have so many people in this situation. And the very first thing I'm going to tell you is this. You've got to pay attention to four key areas of life when we talk about our mental attitude, irritability, uh, uncontrolled or, or a higher level of anger, frustration, and patience than we normally have. And those four things are number one, what are we watching? What are we focusing on, on that television set, on that screen? What are we watching? What are we listening to? Number two, are you listening to kind of crazy conspiracy theory uh, podcasts? Are you listening to political podcasts that are getting you pissed off? Think about that, right? What are we reading? Uh, what are we watching? What are we listening to? What are we reading? And who are we hanging out with? Our, our conversations with people that we're around, are they about irritability and how the world sucks and how people suck and how the economy sucks and how the president sucks and how the other president sucked too? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, there, there are very, very good reasons of why that we have this amount of irritability and anxiety in the world today. And it comes down to you and me. If we want to change it, there's no one that's going to change it. There's no president coming in to save the day. There's no one coming in to save the day. If you want to save your day, if I want to save my day, it's up to me. If I look at myself as being impatient on a regular basis, which I have been, irritable on a regular basis, which I have been, angry, which I have been, I, I mean, I fall into that same category as most other people, impatient in traffic and all that kind of stuff, you know, and it's part of the deal of what we're going through. But what I wanna share with you today is that we can shift this and we need to shift this, not just for the people around us, but for our own mental health, for our own physical health. We need to be able to shift. And there's a couple really quick ways you can shift. Number one is, of course, we're gonna talk about writing, right? Journal those things that trigger you. Find your trigger buttons. Is it traffic? You know, is it uh, someone that goes on and on and on talking about themselves all the time? Is it something at work that you're unhappy with? You know, did you just get a decrease in your pay or did you expect a raise and you didn't get it? You know, all of these kind of things on top of what are we watching? What are we listening to? What are we reading and who are we hanging out with? I mean, we've really got to pay attention to these things. This is what's pulling this world down. This is what's pulling this country down. We're not consciously looking at what we're watching and saying, hmm, you know, I have a tendency to watch the news a lot and I'm always arguing about politics. I wonder if there's a connection. I wonder, right? Or I'm watching the news and I get off the news and I call my neighbors or I talk to my, my partner, my husband, my wife, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, and we all we do is complain about why would that politician do that? That's stupid. And what about this? See, we become what we watch, listen to, read, hang out with. So if we do have higher levels of impatience and irritability, anger, rage, etc., there's a darn good chance it's coming from the outside world. There's a darn good chance it's coming from the people we hang out with, what we're reading, what we're watching to, what we're listening. I'm going to stop right there. If you take a week and you write down everything you watch, you're going to know where your attitude is. If you write down everything you read, everything you listen to and who you hang out with, and at the end of the week, you look at all of that and you have a crap attitude, you have a negative attitude, you have found your solution. It's in what you're watching, listening to, reading, and who you're hanging out with. And then you have to start making decisions. And let me mention this something before we end today, is that those decisions are easier than just saying, I'm just going to quit watching the news. Because we've become addicted to some of this stuff, the theories, the conspiracy theories on YouTube, the, the conspiracy stuff on the news, the negativity on the news, we become addicted to it. So as you try to withdraw and walk away, don't be surprised if there are actual withdrawals. If you feel even more impatient or more anxious at first, that's normal and natural. And if you need help, go to the website. We offer everyone a free free 20 minute call session on the phone, absolutely free. Just go to David Essel or talkdavid.com is the easiest to remember, talkdavid.com. And then also we have three books for free that can help definitely lower in irritability, anxiety, depression, impatience. So get the three free books at talkdavid.com. You're tuned in 
to America's Positive uh, Podcast, David Essel Live, helping Americans and the world to heal. Go to talkdavid.com. Everything's there. Let's keep rocking. We're going to keep giving you information to help change your life. I hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time, make sure your day is beautiful. I'm David Essel. Bye for now.